So what we have behind us is a full 3D motion-based flight simulator. It's made by a company called Fidelity Systems in Pittsburgh. Primarily sort of on the books, the students that will be using this flight simulator um, consistently are the senior aerospace engineering uh, students. They do four to five labs uh, over a semester and they do things like studying steady level on accelerated flight, they study um, takeoff and landing dynamics, uh, they look at some turning flights um, and some stability uh, considerations when you're flying. The simulator is so good that the FAA allows student pilots to use hours that they log in this flight simulator as part of their flight training. You know, actually seeing all of the dials, reading you know, your altimeter, your pressure, all the, all the different things that are going on, it's, it's really just very helpful to give some sort of context to what you're learning about because when you read about these things in textbooks, I mean it's, it's good and you get like sort of a feel for them, but actually you know, flying a plane, seeing you know, how fast do I have to go, how fast do I have to go at takeoff, how fast do I have to go to stay in the air. It's just, it's very interesting to see all of that and it helps the learning experience a lot. So what we've done in the course is we've integrated flight tests with the course so that the students can actually experience what the airplane is doing and from that figure out how to model the, the, the airplane and its flights. You know, actually feeling, you know, I don't want to make this, this uh, movement too automatic because the pilot wants to actually feel, you know, some tension, some some force against what they're trying to work against so they can, they can actually have a feel for the plane, know what's going on, instead of just sort of reading dials or going out and seeing what's going on around them. It, it's, it's definitely a good learning experience. It gives great context to what you're going to be working on in the future.